Hello YouTube, I'm Christian. And I'm Ray, doing a top 10 characters we'd like to see in Injustice 2. Ray's got his top 10 characters. And Christian's got his top 10. So what we're going to do here today is that I'm going to do my 10 to 6, and then Ray's going to do his 10 to 6, I'll do my 5 to 1, and then finally Ray will finish off the video doing his 5 to 1. Transition. Starting off in my number 10 is the dark arts master himself, John Constantine. Constantine could play a lot like Zatanna with the use of magic and spells. He wouldn't be a hand-to-hand -hand fighter, but he would be visually impressive. If not Constantine, I'm actually rooting for Dr. Fate. Seeing as how Constantine even had his own NBC TV show and made an appearance on CW's Arrow, I would be surprised if he wasn't even in the game. Number 9 goes to Superman's cousin, Kara Danvers. Supergirl is yet another popular TV show on the air, and while it has been getting mixed reactions, you can't deny the fame of this iconic female DC hero. I would want her to be different from Superman and would love an alternate skit of her clone, Power Girl. As the only Batman villain on my list, number 8 goes to Poison Ivy. The plant and nature based fighting moves alone would be a standout from all the other characters. Number 7 goes to Wildcat. Ted Grant is the top tier martial artist boxers in the DC Universe. He even trained Black Canary herself. His style would be very much true to his character with his boxing skills. Imagine the style of Little Mac from Punch Out and Smash Bros if he was in Injustice 2. Speaking of Black Canary, number 6 goes to the Green Arrow's main girl. Black Canary would be nimble or fast and would pack a punch with her sonic based screams she can even have her own staff definitely include some alternate skins from the arrow tv show pretty good supergirl's a good choice and so is canary transition hey guys this is ray from rjcxd now i may not have the greatest background when it comes to the dc world and the fact that i'm going to be basing most of my thoughts off the iconic movies video games and tv shows but nonetheless these guys in my opinion may have the potential to be well known and deserve a little spotlight so here's my 10 through 6 characters that I would like in Injustice 2. Number 10, Clayface. Actor Basil Carlo driven mad due to miscasting and bad blood. Literally. With the ability to transform into any of the fighters, Injustice would do well to put him in. I'd like to see his unique fighting style too, but to instantly change characters within a hit of a special move makes it even more cool. I mean, Mortal Kombat did it, am I right? Number 9, Red Tornado. All I can say for this guy, or android, is that he summons wind. Period. Perfect for air combat and some juggling techniques. Just don't be cheap with it. Number 8, Kilowog. I'm just gonna fly out say it. They need another power ring wielding baddie. This guy's perfect. Making great use with willpower like Hal, plus sheer brute force like Bane or Grundy. It's a shame to not put him in. After all, he beat the crap out of Deadpool. Number 7, Static Shock. Schoolboy Virgil Hawkins with the ability to use electromagnetics to control objects and shock the heck out of people. When I think of this guy, all I can think about is Chains of Lightning fitting perfectly in a combo. Black Adam did it, but he's not as cool. Please don't kill me. Number 6, Ra's al Ghul. Demon Head, leader of the League of Assassins, expert swordsman, especially how they portrayed him in Batman Begins, and the CW's The Arrow. Now I just want him there because Injustice lacks characters who uses weapons other than guns. They can even include skins from Arkham City and Arrow. Wow, Red Tornado, I didn't even think about that. You know, I was going to put Static Shock, because I used to watch it as a kid, but I had second thoughts. Also, Ra's al Ghul, that's a good one. I was going to put Vandal Savage, but too many good characters on my list to not put them. Transition. Continuing my list at number five is the Green Lantern. Uh, I mean Booster Gold. Born in the 25th century with the help of a security robot named Skeets, Michael John Carter stole devices on the museum display, including a Legion of Superheroes flight ring, Brainiac 5's force field belt. He used Rip Hunter's time machine to travel to the 20th century, intent on becoming a superhero and forming a corporation based around himself to make a comfortable living. Booster Gold will be another standout character due to his charm and comedy. I've been really liking his character on The Flash, and while I haven't read any of his comics, I would love to see him in the game. Firestorm takes my number four spot, seeing as how we never really had a fire-based character in the first one. Firestorm would be another visually stunning character, seeing how he's basically two people in one morphed together Dragon Ball Z style. My number three has been an oddball choice, but rewatching that Suicide Squad trailer really makes me hope that Captain Boomerang is playable in the next game. If NetherRealms can find a way of not making him a spammable character with his boomerangs, and it could be done right. Just a crazy guy with off the wall fighting styles, he would be welcome in my book. Just Shy being my number one is my number two. Blue Beetle is a huge fan favorite character to include in the next game. I would be shocked if he wasn't included. Jaime Reyes is one of the best Hispanic superheroes around and would be one of my most playable characters. His blue scarab and alien technology would remind me a lot of Iron Man. 
Finally, coming in, my number one is Beast Boy. Do I need to say more? Beast Boy would be the most unique character in the game, seeing as how he can actually transform into aliens and animal species. This green fan favorite would be the most fun character to use and would base his moveset on enemy animal out there. Imagine him transforming into an elephant, dinosaur, or soar away like an eagle. Dang, maybe an alligator, Komodo dragon, those fantasy dragons, blue eyes white dragon, Mugio. Okay, no. Transition. Continuing with my list, number five, the Talon. He's not my number one, but God, do I hope they at least consider him. Hitman Assassin for the Court of Owls, this guy's first appearance was in New 52. To put him in Injustice would mean to expand his quote-unquote fan base to people who only know the infamous villains. And why wouldn't you? His skills match that of Batman, and his design is awesome. Number four, Red Hood, Jason Todd himself. A second Robin turned anti-hero. No doubt, everyone who is anyone wants this guy in the game. With this combination of using lethal weapons and martial arts, who wouldn't want to pick him? A great alternate skin for him would be his Arkham Knight suit from the game. Number three, Scarecrow, another Batman villain. Dang it, I want him in this game. I'm not talking about having him appear as a transition setter. No, I want to play as him. I want to be able to inject people with fear toxin or do like some surprise scare attack or something. Number two, Starfire. Finish up the Teen Titans, why not? She possesses superhuman strength, fires energy projectiles, and she flies. Have her play out similar to Raven, but less dark. And finally, number one is actually a list of its own. <clears throat> Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Freddy Krueger, Jason, Predator, any of the cyber characters? No, I'm kidding. And my number one goes to Katana. I grew to love this character after her appearance on Arrow. And with the installment of Suicide Squad, she deserves all the attention right now. Her skills with the Soul Sword calls for a hack and slash kind of character. And like Raish, I would love to play as a swordswoman in a fighting game. Tran, you already know what's going to happen. All right, thank you for watching our Injustice 2 Top 10 Characters We Want. There were plenty of honorable mentions that didn't quite make our list. I really wanted to see Animal Man, Swamp Thing, Captain Cold, or even Plastic Man. I was hoping for Gorilla Grodd, Dexstar, or Rorschach. You know, I feel as if in the next game they're actually going to put in Dark Side, Seeing as how he's going to eventually be in the DC movies, they're also going to put a lot of alternate skins that I was going to put, like Reverse Flash or Red Arrow. I'd like to see that. So again, thank you for watching. Comment below who would you like to see in the next Injustice. Till then, please subscribe. This is Christian and Ray, signing off. Stay down.